Hey guys, what's up? Jimmy here with another Lots of Games video. Hope all of you guys are having a wonderful week. I wanted to talk to you guys a bit about the SNES Classic, and it was just revealed on the, the games that were going to be announced for it. And then not to do some future, I definitely would do another video talking about all the games and getting really into depth with these games because uh, going over the list, there's a lot of great games, and most of those games actually, when I had my uh, when I first got my Super Nintendo, I know it was very limited, but in time, I, I ended up buying like over half the games that was that's going to be in the list for the SNES Classic. And uh, and games like Final Fantasy uh, 3 or Final Fantasy 6 in Japan, that one alone, I remember spending like, I don't know, I, th I think it was around $70, $75. I just paid a lot of money for it. And so when I see the price tag, of you know around 80 bucks and you get two controllers a lot of people aren't really talking too much about the fact that you're getting two controllers not one controller it is more than the nes classic but in my opinion i feel like the library is a lot better when compared to the nes classic there were great games on the nes classic but i feel it's just a more of a solid lineup and i think it's a great deal for 80 bucks but unfortunately you know of course I've talked a lot about this in the past, but it looks like Scalpers, SNES Classic Scalpers, they are in full effect right now selling these units, selling their pre-orders on eBay, which is really weird because, you know, with the whole thing with eBay, there's only so far in advance you can sell um, an item or at least you, you have to have that product has to be available within a certain amount of time. And this is like way too far in advanced. Um, and the whole thing is, is I feel like unfortunately Nintendo is going to be offering a lot of false hope to gamers. I'm hoping this is not the case, but they, you know, recently confirmed that with the SNES Classic that there will be sig significantly more consoles when compared with the NES Classic. So a lot of people might be thinking, oh, this is great. There's not going to be a problem with the shortage. But they're not specific on what that means. That could be like 30% more or 40% more. It could be 10 times more than the NES Classic. Who knows? Um, but people are saying that there's a good chance that this is only going to be on sale for around three months. And then Nintendo really has no plans on taking it beyond 2017. It's, now, the SNES Classic is going to be released at the end of September of this year so october november december definitely it's going to be on sale and they confirmed of course that it's going to there's going to have significantly more consoles than the nes classic which is great which is awesome but as far as like i feel like we're well, going back to the false hope thing um a little while ago when this switch uh you know was launched and you know was selling out nintendo said you know what we're going to do we're going to double the production. We're going to double the production for you guys. So we're going to get that console on the shelves. And a lot of people are going, this is great. You know, this solves all the problems. If someone wants a Nintendo Switch, they're doubling the production. This is going to solve the problem. Well, has not solved the problem. You know, I was fortunate enough to get a Nintendo Switch. I got the last one at my store. But you go to your electronics store and, you know... There's a strong possibility, you know, I don't know, 98% chance that it's going to be sold out. You know, whether it's a, a game store uh, or a toy store or a department store. If the Switch, you know, they doubled the production, they're increasing the production, it's still sold out. They can't keep up with the demand. What is going to happen with the SNES Classic? The NES Classic was so out of hand on so many levels with problems of keeping it in stock, not being able to find it anywhere. Um, you know, some people were wondering, does this thing even exist? I see YouTube videos or I see pictures, but I don't know if this thing exists because I never ever see it out in the wild. Uh, it's like this rare jewel that you, you can't find. You have to mine for months and years. But with the Super Nintendo, the SNES Classic, I'm hoping that it won't be as out of control as the NES Classic. And again, scalpers, they're already selling their pre-orders on eBay. 
and people are buying these pre-orders and i feel like you know of course a lot of people might think oh do you know just rich people are going to buy the snes classic from scalpers if scalpers end up buying all these units you know they, they've been buying these scalpers they get their credit card and they if they find a store or website they end up buying you know five ten twenty snes classics people i think might think oh only rich people are going to buy from these scalpers but i feel like these scalpers these snes classic scalpers they're going to pray and take advantage of not only the rich but also the poor of course you have the rich people who are going to be don't really care they just throw it on their credit card or their bank account or trust fund or whatever they'll pay the 200 or 300 400 or however out of control this happens but at the same time you have the poor gamers as well and you know most of the gamers out there aren't rich but they have games they might have a limited number of games and they might be tempted to sell their games or collections uh, and get more money than they might normally need you know instead of just paying eighty dollars like shoot i really want the snes classic i guess i'll have to spend 150 bucks i guess i'll have to spend 180 dollars maybe i should get some of my older games that mean a lot to me and sell them on ebay i feel like this is just a lose-lose situation or it could be a lose-lose situation if scalpers again get the upper hand with the snes classic they, they again they get 10 or 20 consoles and they restrict the demand uh or they increase the demand they restrict the supply to what it could be like you know an, an average kid who you know saves up works hard he might sell some of his games trade in some of his games get that 80 dollars which 80 dollars to a, most kids that's a huge sacrifice and that's a lot of money and then here you have this wonderful quote unquote wonderful reseller slash scalper who you know it's nothing to that person to just buy up all of them that they have they might have connections or whatever and then they take advantage of the rich gamers and the poor gamers I feel like this could really get out of hand and just really disappoint a lot of people. But guys, let me know your thoughts on the SNES Classic and the lineup of games. And also, let me know if you think it's going to be a big issue the way the NES Classic was. But uh, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you later.